Now that we've gone in and used an action to resize and rename all our files, I'm going to use another automatic feature in Photoshop to convert it, everything to a PDF presentation. So I'm going to start by going File, Automate, and rather than Batch, I'm going to go straight to PDF Presentation. And I've got a couple of things I can set here. Um, I want it to be, for example, a presentation, not a multi-page document. I want to, I don't need to turn on any of those though. I guess you could put on copyright if you wanted, but in that case, with the school computers, it's not going to be copyright the way you want it to look. So here, um, I'm going to set the background to black. It's on presentation and it is set to advance every five seconds, so that's fine. Now I have to add my files, click on Browse, and here actually I'll show you why I renamed all my files. If I select all the original files here and click on Open, you can see what Photoshop does. It starts with one and then it goes to 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, then it goes to two and so on. So this isn't uh, actually gonna work very well. Actually, yes, I think I'll just cancel and then go file, automate PDF presentation. And this time I'm going to go to the folder where I've already resized and renamed everything. And if I select all the files here by clicking on the first one, holding down the shift key and clicking on the last one and click on open, you can see now with the two digit naming structure, uh, they're all in the correct order. So it starts with 0, 1 and ends with 36. Okay, so that's fine. That's exactly what I want. I don't want it to loop advance every five seconds. That's fine. I'm probably just going to do a manual advance anyways. Uh, if you want to set a transition, I'm going to recommend uh, you just keep it simple. It's probably if you show it as a slideshow, it is going to use a, a transition anyways, and that will be a fade. So I, I'm going to suggest, since it's going to be the same one for everything, just put it on none, and that way you're not going to annoy anybody who actually wants to um, just look at the individual pages. So this is good. Um, presentation, everything looks fine. Click on Save. I'm going to put this in my 36 frames folder and I'm going to just call it 36 frames presentation. Unclick hide extension so the PDF shows up at the end and just click on save. It's going to uh, ask you a couple of things. I'm going to go with smallest file size because this is going to be for screen display. Uh, compression, um, image quality, I'm going to put on high rather than um, on maximum or on low. Output, I don't really have to change. This is already at 72 pixels per inch, so no down sampling is going to occur. Output, fine. Uh, yeah, don't need a password, summary, everything looks, looks good. Uh, so click on Save PDF. It will do something very similar to what the Action Automate function did. It will open all the images one by one, add them to the same PDF, and it's going to save them. So when it's done, we can go in and, and check it out in the folder where it was saved. So if I go to Finder, go to 36 frames, there is my 36 frames presentation. I can see it's considerably smaller in terms of file size. It's 16.6 .6 megabytes, so it'll be much um, easier to send to people. I'm going to double click on it to open it, and here I would just, uh, you know, double check and make sure it, everything was in the right order. I could also open this in Acrobat Reader or Acrobat Pro, and uh, when it comes time to view, I can just go view slideshow and it will switch over the slides at five seconds or I can use the controls. 
Uh, you can see the fast forward and reverse buttons at the bottom. I can also use the arrow keys to go one by one. If I use the arrow keys, I don't get a transition. If I wait for the five seconds to be up, I'm, when it's actually playing, then I will get the default transition that Preview uses. So if you want to have a, a transition, even if you're going through and manually going from one slide to the other, then use the add the transition when you export from Photoshop. Otherwise, you can just use the, the one that's built into Preview. A transition is not essential for this, so either way, it doesn't really matter.